Big Bird's Amazing Dream. It would be exciting if wishes came true. Then we would have something to do. You'd make a wish for me then. I'd make a wish for you. Then we'd make another wish for something new. It wouldn't be pretend. And it would never end. We would be the friends of everybody in the world. Just imagine if I could make wishes come true. Presidents and kings would pursue me. They would wait for days to see me, and they'd be amazed to see me make a wish come true. Any wish would do. It would be exciting if wishes could come true. Then there would be something to do. It's me, Big Bird. Did you ever wish something really special would happen to you? Something really wonderful and exciting? Well, that's what I wished one day, and you wouldn't believe what happened. I'll tell you about it. But first, I want to tell you about a special sound. When you hear that sound, turn the page of your book. Want to hear it again? Okay, are you ready? Now, turn to the first page of your book. That's the page where you see a picture of me sitting in my nest and talking to Cookie Monster. Did you find it? Good. Now, let me tell you the story. One day, I was sitting in my nest and I was pretty bored. I was thinking about how I never get to do anything wonderful or to go anywhere extra special. Then I got to thinking about how nothing really exciting ever happens on Sesame Street. Just then, Cookie Monster walked by and asked, What's wrong, Big Bird? We know that you look very happy today. So I said, You know what, Cookie? I think Sesame Street is pretty boring. Boring? Me no think so. Me never bored on Sesame Street. Said Cookie. But what is there to do? I asked. Well, me can eat chocolate chippies and macaroon fudges. That's very special. And make marshmallow fluffies with little candy hearts on top. Oh, and another thing me can do is put yummy I get the idea, I interrupted. Everything Cookie Monster was talking about was the same old boring Cookie Monster stuff. That's when the lid popped up on Oscar's trash can. Someone bored, he asked. Now here was someone I thought would agree with me. Don't you think Sesame Street is pretty boring, Oscar, I asked. No way! Why, where were you last night when Slimy's band played the Trash Can Blues? You should have heard those lids roll. And this very morning, three perfectly normal eggs turned rotten right in my trash can. What's your problem, turkey? I'm bored, I said. Only this time, I was bored by the same old boring Oscar stuff. So I curled up in my nest, and I took a nap. And that's when I had a really amazing dream. Boring, boring, boring. I was muttering to myself as I fell asleep. And just then, a genie appeared right in front of my nest. And do you know what he said to me? He said, so you want to do something really exciting, eh? Maybe go someplace really special? 
I'll tell you what. I'll grant you any three wishes you want. Wow! Do you mean that I can go anywhere in the whole world and have a really exciting adventure? I asked. Just name it. Any three wishes you want, <laughs> the genie said. I wish... I wish... I wish I were a charming prince who lived in a beautiful castle and fought dragons, I said. And do you know what happened next in my dream? Whew, there I was, right in front of my own beautiful castle. Oh, thank you, I said to the genie. No problem, my pleasure, <laughs> he replied, and that was when I heard the dragon roar. Ah, oh, me so hungry, and me so tired of eating chocolate chippies, and macaroon fudges, and marshmallow fluffies. Oh, hello there. Is that a yummy, young, tender prince, me see? Cowabunga! Oh, no, I yelled. I wish I had never made this wish in the first place. I wish I were right back in my nest on Sesame Street. Poof! I'll bet you can guess what happened next in my dream. There I was, back on good old Sesame Street, and boy, was I glad. My exciting adventure didn't work out the way I had planned it at all. I was thinking about just that when the genie said to me, I'll bet you wish there was some way you could know how things were going to work out ahead of time. Then you'd know whether or not you really wanted to do them at all. Oh, yes, I said. That is just what I wish. Well, I've got just the thing you need, he said. Huh. A crystal ball appeared right in front of me, just like the ones fortune tellers use to tell you what's going to happen in the future. Can I look into this crystal ball whenever I want to know what's going to happen? I asked the genie. Yep, he said. And be sure to use it all the time. <laughs> Not long after that, in my dream, Cookie Monster came by and said, Hi, Big Bird. Me favorite cousin sent me new game called Cookie Chase. Oh, it's a very good game and lots of fun. Would you like to play it with me? I was just about to say yes when I remembered my crystal ball. So, I looked into the ball and what do you think I saw? I saw me losing the game. No thanks, I said to Cookie. Maybe we play another time. Cookie said, and off he went. And then I just sat back down in my nest, good and bored. Soon Cookie came back. Look, big bird, you got this postcard from your granny bird. <laughs> Dear Big Bird, would you like to come and visit me at my house on the beach? Hope to see you. Love, Granny Bird. That sounds like fun, Big Bird. At first, I thought, sure, I'll go visit Granny Bird. Then I remembered to check my crystal ball. It's a good thing I did, too because it was going to rain, and who would want to go to the beach in the rain? Maybe another time, I said to Cookie. So there I was, still in my nest, very, very bored. Then Cookie said, But Big Bird, it's no matter if it rains. You always love to visit Granny Bird. 
even when it rains, she makes very delicious birthday coffee cakes and lemonade. Hey, wait a minute. I said to myself, Cookie is right. And another thing, if I had played that game of cookie chase with him, I would have had a lot of fun. Maybe I wouldn't have won, but I would have had a good time. This crystal ball is no good at all, I said. Jeannie, I wish you would take this crystal ball away. And do you know what the genie said to me? Sorry. You already had your three wishes, bird brain. Can't you count? First, you wish to get away from Sesame Street and be a prince with your own castle. But then you met the dragon, remember? Next, you wish to go back to Sesame Street. So you did. And then you wish for this silly crystal ball so you would know everything that was going to happen. The deal was three wishes, Turkey, and that's what you got. <laughs> Oh, no. I was stuck with the crystal ball forever. When I looked into the ball, I saw me never having fun again. Every time I wanted to do something, I'd look into the ball, and then I wouldn't want to do it anymore. Oh, I wish I had never asked for this ball in the first place, I said. And I wish that genie had never come. Everything on Sesame Street was so much better before. I wish I had never gotten up this morning. I wish... Oh. And then I woke up. And you know what? I didn't wish for anything then. I was just so happy everything was back to normal on good old Sesame Street. Hey, Cookie Monster, I called. Want to play a game of Cookie Chase? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Sure, Big Bird. Me run right home and get it. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Well, I didn't win that game of Cookie Chase, but I didn't even care because Cookie Monster and I had such a good time playing. And then I packed up my bag and decided I'd go pay Granny Bird a visit. I think it will be a long time before I feel bored again. Things couldn't be better. It looks good for me. Me too. Wishes are for wishing. Life is real, you see. Things couldn't be better anywhere you go. You can fix a problem every time. Although it might seem impossible. Might be difficult at first. But nothing's impossible. It's a little tough at worst. Yes, things couldn't be better. Take a tip from me. We're all so lucky to be who we are and to be what we can be. Yes! We're all so lucky to be who we are and to be what we can be. Let the tape run to the end before you turn off the machine. Bye-bye.